Hello everyone and welcome to episode 89 of the James Layton Fitness Podcast. Now in this specific episode we'll be discussing what you should do if you have goals for building muscle and also losing body fat. This is probably one of the most common goals I hear when people email me asking about my services. They want to achieve these two goals simultaneously, fat loss and muscle gain. I'm going to discuss in detail in this specific podcast exactly how you should approach these two goals because unfortunately I think a lot of people end up spinning their wheels. They end up trying to focus on both goals simultaneously and as such they don't really achieve either goal. So in short it's far more optimal to focus on one goal at a time. So you're going to focus on a block of time one of the goals and then you're going to transition into another block of time on the other goal. Now in most situations almost 100% of the time when you have an individual who's trying to achieve fat loss and muscle gain simultaneously this therefore means that they have a reasonable amount of body fat on them already and therefore it's much more optimal to focus on fat loss first prior to transitioning to a muscle building phase and the biggest reason for this is within a muscle building phase there's always going to be some fat gain this is just because you're in a chronic energy surplus and in a muscle building phase some fat gain is normal because of this so therefore by focusing on fat loss first I would suggest focusing on getting under 15% body fat at least for males and for females trying to get under 20% body fat at least before transitioning to the muscle building phase. And the biggest reason for this is twofold. Firstly, we're actually losing the body fat first. So therefore, instead of transitioning to a muscle building phase with a reasonable amount of body fat on you already, you're just going to add to this body fat that's already on you. So you're eliminating some of that already immediately but in addition to that it gives you a little bit of a buffer of fat to gain because you're losing some body fat first and then you realize that you're going to gain some of this within a muscle building phase it just gives you a buffer to allow you to do this as opposed to starting with a lot of body fat already and then just adding even more body fat throughout the muscle building phase so that would be my first recommendation focusing on fat loss first males as I discussed getting at least to 15% body fat or leaner and females at least to 20% body fat or leaner for transitioning to a muscle building phase now it's critical to realize that when I say you should be focusing on fat loss first this doesn't necessarily mean you're just doing hours of cardio and no weight training at all quite to the contrary if you've followed any of my content videos podcasts articles for any period of time you'll know that one of the big principles i discuss is having weight training as the foundation of your routine within a fat loss phase and the biggest reason for this is the weight training component the goal of this is to preserve as much muscle mass within the fat loss phase remember in the fat loss phase we have two main objectives first of which is to lose body fat the second goal is to maintain as much muscle mass as possible so therefore even though you're transitioning to a fat loss phase first you're still going to have weight training as the foundation and then you're merely decreasing calories and or increasing expenditure a combination of both to continue creating the energy deficit need for fat loss then you're going to get to 15% body fat or lower for males or under 20 or at least 20% body fat for females or lower before transitioning to muscle building phase where the main goal is really increasing calories slowly over time in addition to increasing volume over time so volume is sets times reps times load so in short you're doing more work so maybe more exercises it may simply mean adding more sets it may mean just getting stronger within the rep ranges you're already doing these are all ways to increase volume over time so hopefully that's helped so in short if you're trying to achieve both of these goals simultaneously you really want to focus on one goal at a time fat loss first to get you under those body fat percentages before transitioning to a muscle building phase but appreciate you've still got weight training as a foundation to preserve lean muscle mass within the fat loss phase and then you're merely decreasing calories and or increasing expenditure to continue creating the energy deficit need for fat loss now finally i just want to give a couple of caveats there are a couple of situations where it, you can see fat loss and muscle gain to a significant degree and that is an absolute beginner to weight train especially an overweight beginner to weight train they're always going to see some fat loss and muscle gain simultaneously to a significant degree and then for a person that's returning from a layoff someone that has say three to four months of no weight training having trained 
for many years previously and then they transition back to training after a few months off they'll see some fat loss and muscle gain simultaneously for a period of time however in most circumstances best to focus on one goal at a time now keep in mind you may still see a small amount of the opposite goal simultaneously so for example in the fat loss phase you may still see a small amount of muscle gain which is absolutely superb. So treat this as an added bonus, but you, you don't want to focus on muscle gain as the sole goal until you're actually lean enough. So hopefully that's helped. Hopefully that's blown away some of the myths. I know this is such a big problem for most people because they try and achieve both goals simultaneously and they end up just not achieving anything. So focus on one goal at a time, focusing on a block of fat loss first, and then transitioning to a block of time to help to increase muscle mass. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you very much for listening. If you're still yet to download my free book, How to Set Up a Nutrition Plan, if you go to James Layton Fitness, L-A-Y-T-O-N-Fitness.co.uk, you'll see a tab at the top of the page. You can download that ebook immediately. Okay, thank you very much, guys.